in order to use in curses we first need to include the header file so I'll include the in curses header file now uh, we need to make sure that this header file is included in our standard C library that is glibc and this um, this demonstration would basically show how to check that so here is our main function and let me write the obvious return statement now <coughs> I want to see if in curses dot header file if that is in my uh, glibc the glibc I have in my machine so all I'm gonna do is in curses version the format specifiers so three format specifiers the first one in curses version major so these are all symbolic constants good in curses version minor and in curses so version patch and let me add a new line line break okay so you see I haven't included any other header file like standard input output because I'm using printf function here because in curses.h this header file includes um, everything that's in the standard input output header file so adding another uh, header file would be redundant here so let me actually try running that okay so let me compile it and uh, my compiler is clang and let me do version check and just one heads up you definitely need um, while you know in the compilation process you definitely need to um, mention the library that you're using in this case in curses okay all right that worked no runtime error no no compilation error now let me run the executable and I see that in curses version is showing here and if it is not included in your system if it is not if in curses dot header file is not in your system look for online solutions and uh, that might help